thanks to an awesome viewer, we got the Blacklight Funko Pops from Target. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Bumbles out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, at these hell walls, we are together. Yes. No thanks to Target. Thank God we have you guys out there looking out for us because we got black light Funko Pops from the Infinity Wave. And we're really excited about it and we cannot wait to show you them. But let's talk about how Target sucks. Yeah, Target sucks. Target's the balls. Is that good or bad? Uh, it depends on if you like balls, Chris. Do I like Target now? <sighs> I'm having really mixed feelings on this. Unfortunately, the only Funko Pops we do not have from that wave are the Black Panther and the Gladiator Hulk. That's the 10 inch. We're waiting for them to finally hit stores. And there actually has been a rumor going around that they're going to hit stores this weekend. But I don't think that's true anymore. Not for us, at least. Well, Dish Trackers actually posted that there was an update and that they don't think that the Funko Pop is going to drop anytime soon. However, we called one of our local stores today and they said possibly August 20th. Yeah, we might get it on August 20th. Fuck! I had to very kindly remind him that it's almost September 20th. Yeah, and he was like, well, release dates wouldn't refer to next year, so I don't know what's going on here. So anyway, things are completely f over at Target, especially here, as you can tell from what we found out this morning. We haven't even seen these three Funko Pops yet in our local stores. This is the first time that we've actually seen them in person. Well, other than Thanos, because our friend Mike Manabog sent this one not too long ago. But this is the first time we have all three together at one time, and it's pretty f***ing amazing. And I just want to thank our good pal Carlos, because dude, you came through in a big way. Thank you so much, Carlos. We had no idea that these were coming. No clue. And I think you're such a lovely person for sending this to us because you know that we're such a big fan of the Blacklight Marvel Funko Pops. Well, I am. I am too, I like them, but Captain Marvel? But to be fair, I've never really liked the Captain Marvel Funko Pops. But I really think she's gonna look awesome in Blacklight form, and we're gonna take a look at all three of them here soon, and we're also gonna unbox some other things that we got in the mail. I got something cool. Absolutely, but first, we wanna let you guys know to head over to our Patreon to check out all the things that we offer right now, patreon.com slash gasocast. We have a bunch of fun things to sign up for over there, like a live Google Meet chat with Heather and I every month, and we do some really awesome giveaways. We've now upgraded a level four, right, Heather? We have, and I just wanna note that we have something amazing that you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss. So level three and level four are both signed up for our monthly giveaways and we have something so cool coming for October. You do not want to miss it. I promise. And level four will get a special giveaway every three months. That's right. Something really super big. But in every video, we love to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we're going to shout out to Damian Spalma, Autumn and Eddie Phillips, Anne, George Shihide, DJ Dislin, Garrett aka Fastmo24, and Esmeralda. Alvarez. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We love all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys are amazing. All right, so here are the three Blacklight Funko Pops that were recently dropped at Target. Thank God I finally have them. No thanks to me. I tried to get them on September 2nd for you. It's okay. No thanks to Target either because everything's super f Either one, you got your stuff canceled or two, they're just delayed. In fact, I think my Captain Marvel is supposed to show up today. It still isn't here. You had to check your watch for that. Is Captain Marvel here? <laughs> that was the dumbest I've ever done. Why do you do things? I don't know. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, there's a note. Whoa, this is a long one. I'll read that. Dear Heather and Tough Guy Heather hmm. and Chris. LOL. Wanted to say thank you and sorry. First video I saw of you guys, I found your intro kind of lame and annoying and joked about not understanding it. And not even seeing the whole video yet, I already criticized it. Boy, was I wrong. I'm glad I saw the whole video. Such great content and funny all the time. And always after I see your video, I catch myself singing your intro all the time. Told you I knew you'd be hooked. So thank you for the awesome videos. You guys are the perfect best couple in YouTube. You guys are so funny together and joke on each other. So damn funny. Don't ever change. You guys are very special. Keep doing what you're doing. Much love to the Gasocast family. Carlos Q. P.S. 
Hold on, give me the tough guy Heather hat. Target! No, he, he really did say that. <laughs> All right, so he did send something special for you. Hold on, hold on. Did he send it for me or for tough guy Heather? No, no, for you. Okay, for just me. Oh my gosh. Freddy Krueger socks. Oh yeah. Those are awesome. Cool. I have a ghost face. It looks like a wiener. Why is there a wiener? Look. There's a ball, and there's a ball, and there's the rest of it. Oh my god. Why is it? You gave me wiener socks too? Thank you, Carlos. Heather got socks. All right, so here are all the black light Funko Pops that we do not have yet. And here's Heather's favorite, Captain Marvel. She isn't bad. She actually looks pretty cool. Here's Thanos. And here is the Ant-Man. The one that we considered like the ugliest one, but he's not bad. He isn't. The only thing that I don't like is that his mouth looks like he's about to suck a butt. His mouth looks like he's sucking a butthole? Yeah, look at it. It does not look like he, he has his helmet on. What are you talking about? No. So apparently the reason why this suit looks so weird is because he's wearing the time travel suit from Endgame. Oh. He's got a blue head. It just looks like he's ready for a butthole. Do you think he's a badger? Are you trying to say he's eating like a badger. He's about to. <laughs> hey, look, I got a black light shirt. Whoa, that's awesome looking. All right, so there's Captain Marvel, and I think she looks amazing. She actually really does, although I still hate the mohawk. Her suit just bores me, and the mohawk is weird to me. Okay, he looks awesome. He is cool looking in person. I think they did a good design choice with making his head blue because he sort of stands out from the rest of the Black Light Marvel Funko Pop. He really does. Like at first, I really didn't like the fact that they did like separate colors for everything. But upon looking at it in person, I really like it under the black light. Thanos, I believe we've already shown him under black light. We have. The one thing I do not like about him is that his face is too dark. Yeah, it doesn't really have that pop. Before I had mentioned that maybe they did on purpose to make his suit really stand out. Had his face been really bright purple, this Funko Pop would have been like over the top awesome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Please don't break it. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, so enough about these. Let's talk about Heather's boxes that she got in the mail. I wanna take a look and see what kind of grails you have because I know one of them is really amazing. Our friend Brian reached out to me the other day and he was like, hey, are you interested in this? And I was like, yeah, that would be really awesome. What are you looking for? And the one thing that he was looking for is something I didn't have. However, ah. however, he did tell me not to worry about it, but I worried about it. And I went on Macari and I used some of my dollars. You macari together. Well, I macari for him together and he just sent me. And he was hunting together. Yeah. Okay. And, and I didn't tell him that I was sending him something cool, but I got him something really cool and I traded. Whoa. A Hercules Freddy Funko from the box of Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh man, that's a really neat one too. Look at him. Okay, so that's a 2000 piece. Excellent. And what did he get in return, Heather? I got him the Teen Wolf. Oh, that's awesome. The Teen Wolf Freddy. That's another cool yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, so this one, I have no clue what this is. This is from Michelle D. And she actually reached out to me on my office orientation Instagram. If you didn't know, Heather has a podcast called The Office Orientation. This podcast is Heather's adventure of watching The Office for the very first time. You get a bunch of hilarity from her and I talking about the show. It's on every podcast app that's out there. Go and check it out. Okay, she wrote me a letter. Hi, Heather. Now that you are an Office fan, I figure your Funko collection has to be expanded. This is one of my fave characters along with Phyllis, so had to get this one for you. This isn't really spoilery, so I figured it was safe to give you now. Thanks for your wonderful podcast as well as the Gasselcast. Michelle D. I'm so excited! So it's one of her favorite characters besides Phyllis. I see some red hair. Oh, it's Meredith. With a pixel boo. Oh, that's awesome. That is from a great episode. So you oh. haven't seen this episode yet, right? No, I have not. But I know that she whips them out every chance she gets. So this is not surprising at all. First of all, it looks just like her. <laughs> that's Second awesome. of all, her pixels are perfect. That is amazing that they did pixel boobs. Oh, I love this. That's the greatest. Okay, Funko, you did a really brilliant job with this. Yes, and Michelle, you found a place right in my heart. This is amazing. And before we close the video out, I just wanted to share this alligator Loki. Jared Gerber sent me one that is in perfect condition. I had a box that was damaged before. So Jared, thank you so much for finding me one that looked like this. This thing is immaculate. Except when you open it up, it's not immaculate because it has that weird f 
hole in the back of its head. It's a big abomination is what it is. But it has a perfect box. Guys, what do you think about our haul? And how about all those people who hooked us up and helped us with some of these finds? Thank you so much. And let us know what you think about the black light in the comment section down below. And praise our friends for being awesome. Guys, do not forget, head over to 7 Bucks a Pop every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday for their random drops. They drop some really awesome old school Funko Pops, and you don't want to miss out on that. Head over to 7 All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.